time, welcome to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new, let me not be rude. It's me, B2B, to the to the P, and in this day video, I will be explaining everything that's going on, because I hit my bigger point. I'm tired of it, so we can get into everything. Let's get into it. So anyways, I already know, as y'all can see, y'all already know on Snapchat, me and Tegan Young going into, going edit for no reason. I like, it's not even called for, I don't see, every time something go on, he always got to run the social media, but let me just break it to down, everything happened. Let me just get into everything. But basically, we was talking since July. 2020 or whatever and we had stopped talking in october because some situation happened i don't think i want to get into it what happened but just know like it was some stuff the reason that we had broke up in in july so basically y'all yeah, know after the um thing we had, i had you know i already know how i did on my own video what i had did the lyric prank on him around that time after i did a lyric prank on him you know he started back liking me or whatever so you know mind you keep this in mind i know how i feel when you really really like somebody and you know they don't like you back and stuff like that and that stuff can really hurt you i know exactly how to feel because i'd have been no before like i didn't like plenty of people well i ain't gonna say plenty of people mason like scrape people like i didn't got this by scrape people i know how that stuff feel whatever so therefore you know i want i won't dish nobody i would rather talk to you still talk to you communicate with you than just dish you because i know how i feel and i don't know what i don't want it to happen to me because i already know and everybody know karma's a be so basically okay so i thought i did that lyric prank whatever around that time you know, he started back communicating with me. You know, like I told y'all, just saying, like, I'm a good person. I'm not going to do nobody like this. So, I started back communicating with him. We would be texting, get on the phone, all that, you know, good stuff, whatever. So, basically, he was like, um, he was ready for a relationship. But I wasn't ready for no relationship because, mind you, we've been broken up ever since October. It's been so much stuff that went on since October. I wasn't just ready for hopping no relationship. I feel like I want us to get to get to know each other again before we get in a relationship. Like, re get that time to reconnect and all that. But so, but like I told y'all about, we started communicating in January. By the end of January, he was, like, ready for a relationship. But I wasn't ready for now. So, you know, he had started posting me and all that. But my, keep in mind, I didn't say anything because I was like, bump, just go with the flow. Like, don't treat nobody like that because, you know, you don't want it to happen to you or whatever. So, just go with the bump. So mind you, I was going with it. I still talk on the phone with him, text him. We basically, like, we were just, in my eye, you know, we were just talking or whatever. When he died, we in a relationship type stuff or whatever. Like I was saying, like, you, you take time. We just started back communicating in January. The end of January, like, we just started talking beginning of January. The end of January, like, already in a relationship. And we've been broken up for so how long? So long. So you need a time to reconnect, get to know each other again, or even to trust each other again. Because the trust was still, yeah, I understand. Like, I can't lie. At the beginning of the relationship, it was all good, but I had, I had mentioned that shit out of shit. Because y'all, I'm not just going to get into detail, but at like the beginning of the relationship, when we had started talking with everyone, I used to get D all type of way. It made me strong who I am now, but... I used to be getting D all type of ways. I used to be cheated on. Nah, I used to be crazy. I really was in love. I had separation anxiety real bad to the point where, like, you know, I had to stay. I go to my cousin's house every day because I just used to be so sad. I used to really be going through it. Like, he really used to doubt me. So, um, after, after, after all that, I didn't, like, I bossed up. I ain't talking about I just bossed up doing all that. I'm saying that I didn't, like, you know, I didn't pray all the nights that I had. I prayed and I got built up and I got to the point where like all that wasn't gonna happen again. So but really, really by the time he decided to do right and starting to do right, I had already mentally checked out and once you mentally checked out the relationship, it really nothing you could do. Like nothing you could do at all because I was already checked out it, you know. So um that's why I wasn't no rushing to get back in the relationship because, you know, it just I didn't I understand. At the beginning of the relationship, I was happy and stuff, but after a while, I just used to go through too much in the relationship. Like, ain't no what relationship is supposed to have more bad days and good days. Would you be talking to somebody? Y'all supposed to have a lot of good days, like more than bad days, but we had all many bad days. We always argue, always going through stuff. Like, that relationship was really draining. Like, I can't lie. I ain't never seen it. Like, the whole time it was draining, but majority of the part, that relationship was really draining. Like, I can't lie. Like, y'all, that relationship had me at my lowest. It was time where I had got so... I had got so skinny. Okay, let me show y'all. This how... When we was in a relationship, this how, this how skinny I had got. 
right here. I had got this skinny. But when I start putting myself first and love myself and love myself while I love somebody else and stop allowing some stuff to go down, then my weight got like this. Like, this is really crazy. Like, I can't lie, but like I see, so basically what's going on now is, like I told y'all, Mind y'all, we was like I told y'all, I was still communicating with him all this. So basically, this particular day, which was the, like I don't know, it was yesterday, day before yesterday, something like that, he had texted me. He was like, um, I feel like I'm giving fifty in the relationship, and you giving twenty five. And I'm like, you know what? I tried my best to go along with it, be nice, talk back to him, do all type of stuff like that. Like I told y'all, I know how I feel, but if I hit kill bugging me, relationship, deal, relationship. Deal, Okay, I'm gonna put it out to you. I'm not in love with you yet. You know what I'm saying? You might be in love with me, but I'm not in love with you yet. I can't get back and I can't get in love with nobody. It's been like over a couple of weeks. Like I see with somebody I just met. Oh my god, like I'm already in love type of stuff. But like like getting back in love with an ick that you've been through so much week. Like apparently y'all probably just saying like, you know, everybody go through stuff with they ick, so y'all can easily bounce back. Y'all we went that relationship was a lot for me. Y'all honest know, like I ain't gonna say he did me bad all the time, don't get me wrong. He was a good boyfriend so at the time. Yes, he was a real good boyfriend, can't lie. But most of the time, y'all, I used to get cheated on so bad. I used to really get did wrong. Just, they got me to the point where I did not want to go back to him. So basically, when he says that about 50 to 25, like, you know what? The reason I'm giving 50 to 25 because I'm not in love with you. Like, I tried, y'all. It was sometimes I tried to get back in love, but I just couldn't. I couldn't get jiggy with it no more. It, I swear to God, I could not. It time I literally it was something nice. Well, I legit prayed. I legit prayed to get over that boy. I can't lie. I literally prayed to get over that boy. Cause y'all, they I used this. Y'all understand when I say draining. That relationship used to be draining. I literally prayed to get that boy. I remember mean, one night I was in the room. I was laying under my bed. He heard when I said he was on the phone. I was like, only if I had to scream to walk away out of the relationship. I was, I was talking like God, but he heard me. He got mad that day. Because that's really how I feel. If I did have the scream, of course I was going to walk away and I wasn't going to look bad. That's why I wasn't trying to get back in a relationship now because I didn't want to fall back in love again and get hurt. Like, I was, y'all, when I tell y'all I was hurt in that relationship, y'all understand how hurt I was. I used to go through so much. Like, that relationship was a lot on me. I just wanted to be happy, but I couldn't. I couldn't, so y'all, like I said, after that happened, Peter that shot like, you know, I don't even know if he was like, he got mad, so you want to love me, I said, no, it ain't did, I, I loved you, but I want in love with you, it, I felt, I told him, I felt like everything was rich, we started back communicating in January, even in January, you already went through relationship, you already went stuff, posting me, I understand you posting me because you really love me, okay, cool, I understand that you really love somebody, you want to show them off, I understand that, but, he didn't give me time to fall back in love before we went to social media and go on here to me about losing relationship. It ain't fair that, like, I ain't want him to tell nobody because I, I had some people on the side. It gave, it, it didn't give none of it. It did not give none of it. It just did. That's just how I literally felt. And then, you know, I had once more time, I was like, you know, I don't want to mess up some good with somebody who I know really love me or whatever or with somebody who's like a, like a down low boy. I didn't want to do that, but I was like, well, actually, bum, I can tell that you doing it for yourself because you don't even talk to nobody. You don't even got no boyfriend or none of that. Nobody you talk to on the side. So that's how I knew that that's actually how I felt. And my mind made up that I wasn't going to go back. because, I, But I told y'all, I thought about it now. Like, bum, don't mess up these somebody really love you trying to meet with a DL. You know, you're not going to get following no DL, boy. But when I really thought about it, I was like, I don't even talk to nobody. So that's why I was like, that's how I know it. That's exactly how I feel because I wasn't talking to nobody. And I used to how I felt like I just, y'all don't understand. I used to be so hurt in that relationship. It used to be so draining. That's why when I got myself to the point where I got over him, I tried my best not to fall back in love with him or go back. Y'all don't understand. I'm not just seeing him capping on the body name like I wanted love. Yes, I was in love. Yes, he did he treat me good, do stuff for me about me. I appreciate all that. I understand it, but he used to be all the other stuff. Like, it was really draining me. Y'all don't understand. But yeah, after that happened, I told him how I felt by this. He was mad. All this. So basically, I'm getting to what happened today. So mind you, today, I'm here in the Walmart. He texted me. He was like, hey, I heard something about you. Call me ASAP. All this. And I was like, I'm really thinking he really heard something that I didn't really do. So I am like, oh, like, what's going on? Like, I'm thinking like I actually did something. He called me because somebody told him somebody missing and miserable. And the only time I told him that I was all on somebody. 
it the game Wednesday, baby. I want on nobody. I want even stood nobody. I'm not trying to talk to nobody none day, baby. I don't mind my own being and doing me in my own little worry, in my own little zone. If you know, you know, ain't nobody want to stun nobody in no game. So this really like why y'all lying? That's why I'm not good dating nobody at your school because if you date somebody at your school, they're gonna be playing both sides. They're gonna be being mixed so and they'll tell the person, oh yeah, bump be deep. We need to go take that deep. Like, they gonna be playing both sides, being like they're gonna be trying to talk to your baby just too much going on. Like I understand people will be like, Why I kill to have a baby at my school. Yeah, it might be good to see your baby every day, but baby, it ain't good dating nobody at your school. It really not. It got some good. Well, it, I ain't gonna say just bad, but it's some good and it's some good and some bad come out of it. Could not lie. Like it's some good and some bad come out of it. Like it's not cool at all. Cause I, like I really was mad because I do not like when nobody allow me. Like don't lie on my name, bro. I understand if I did something I want to admit to, it, but don't lie on me. Like they really started lying on me. I want on nobody no guy. Like you dead miserable to the point where you gotta make a lie on me. Damn, I bet whoever the main person who lied on me, you sent up all in my face. I bet you did. That's why I don't be want to. I hope nobody comes to school Monday. Nobody wanna be all up in my face. Cause I really ain't got time for all that weird sh like this serious. Like don't do all that. You really saying lie on me. Like I don't do that. Then like he gotta take everything to social media. Social media ain't got nothing to do with what we got going on. Soon all this stuff happen. It's like he posting, ooh, I did something with somebody last night. That ain't even cute. That's not even cute. And you bragging about you doing something with somebody last night or something. That's not even cute. It really not. But I don't, I don't, I'm not going to speak that level. I, I hate that. I be trying to be the bigger person, bro. But, like, being a bigger person, it literally, like, I don't know what to say. You cannot be the big. I be trying so hard to be the bigger person. But, like, and when I be the big person, it makes it seem like, man, bump, you quiet, you ain't saying nothing. I get feel like, if I get, I guess I got to say something to make them stop, like, what? Because I'm sick of this. Like, I usually don't entertain no miss like this because like, I don't do all that. I don't put my beat on social media. Like, every time, everybody know he put everything on social media. This is this stuff he do. He would dial me out on social media. Then the next hour or two later, he would be back trying to talk to me. This type of person he is. That is weird and it's toxic. Like, Lily, like, come on, I'm so tired of this. Like, it literally draining. Why, if you so-called moved on already, did what you did with somebody like that, why do you still wear me? Why you still wear my time about something? What I be wearing all that? Okay, yes, I did have on a weed. I be having lashes on sometimes. Okay, yeah, I did. Okay, what about it? And I promise you, you can't say I'm ugly with. That's a fact. I mean, guess you mad because, like, you don't look as good as me when you wham or what? Like, why, like, what, what's, like, what's, like, what's T? Why you on Snapchat dogging me? You so over me or whatever, so why you all on Snapchat doing it? Like, that's lame. Like, I'm so sick of this. Like, I'm so sick of you. Y'all country are dead. I be so bored myself. Somebody please comment me because what? I'm so sick of this. But, y'all, I'm done with this. If y'all got any more questions, y'all put some in the comments. Or y'all text me. Y'all go Q&A and answer questions for y'all on the next video. But I'm just tired of it. Like, I'm really irritated. Like, because why, why my name still up in your mouth? You're moved on already from last night. You moved on. You had sex with somebody last night. They ate your what, whatever. Why is you still, my name still in your mouth and stuff? Like, I don't understand it. Like, can you leave me alone? Please. Well, not please, I ain't gonna beg you to leave me alone, but leave me alone, like, cause I, like, what? You moved on, you and your little studio, he, look the way he's standing, okay, look at the way he's standing, and stand on my face, and I'm not waiting. Goodbye, like, wait. I'm so, like, I'm really, like, do I take, look at that, who wanna deal with somebody toxic like that? Me, I want that man bump, you should give that a Tay, man, you want to Tay, like, cute, Ooh, you need to give that a beast, you need to give that a speed, you need to give that a Tay. Y'all see how Tay is, but y'all want somebody to get with Tay? Y'all see how he is? And that what you want me with? And this what you want. Me. Okay, but I'm I'm done. If you enjoy this, like, comment, subscribe if you want to. You ain't even got to how I'm feeling. But I'll be I'll see y'all one day next week. Because I ain't got time. Like, it's a wrap. Like <laughs>